Right. Will there be pain? Uh, will there be cuts that people might find unpalatable? Well, I, I think they're going to be tough decisions that have to be made, but the commitment I give again today, and I've always given, is, for example, in any work that we do to restructure the public service, uh, we will work with the unions. And all we ask is that they adopt a positive, constructive approach when working with us. Um, it might surprise them, uh, but I, for example, don't agree with the current government the way they're sacking 3,500 public servants, and more particularly saying that they'll only get 2.5% pay rises until the, uh, uh, the, the budget is brought back into, uh, into, into surplus. So would you change that uh, wages policy of 2.5% then? Well, I, I'll say this. In the Brisbane City Council, I never said that uh, we were going to have uh, some sort of target like that um, to balance the books. I don't think it's fair that the staff in the Queensland Public Service have been told they'll only get 2.5% because the government can't manage the overall headcount and the expenses of government. They're asking effectively the hard-working public servants to pay the price with lower wage increases, less than inflation, because they haven't managed the state's finances properly. Um, I can assure people that won't be my view, but what I'm after from unions is a willingness to actually practically work uh, on the head count issue, um, accepting um, that it does have to be fixed, otherwise the state's going to go broke. So you're talking about the head count issue and you're also talking about higher pay, higher than the 2.5%, so would there be higher pay for public servants but fewer public servants? Well, I'm saying that we do need to see, uh, over time, through attrition, um, a, a reduction in the overall head count but not on frontline services, which actually in many cases need to go up. So this has to be a managed process. We'll work with um, the unions. Every year, you know, sort of thousands of people actually do depart voluntarily from the public service, and the idea is to manage that. Op that's an opportunity to actually not have pain, to not have cuts, but to actually change the shape and size of the organisation so that it actually then is affordable for all Queenslanders and uh, we actually get the budget back into surplus. But isn't that idea similar to what the government's doing, this voluntary separation program? Well, it isn't a voluntary separation program. It is a, another piece of labour spin where they're actually forcing 3,500 people out the door at a cost of over $100 million in terms of those redundancy payments. Uh, but they will not call it a redundancy uh, program. They don't dare do that. But that's the point. They are actually firing 3,500 public servants because they've allowed the public service overall to be too large in terms of what Queensland can afford.